So when we're looking at the causes of cardiomyopathy, um, in genetic causes, LV and C would be regarded as primarily a genetic cause uh, by this paper by Barry Manon from a number of years ago. And in fact, there's somewhere between 20 and 40% of families you identify a specific genetic change. And interestingly, sometimes that genetic change can cause LVNC, say in the adult, and restrictive cardiomyopathy in the child, or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. There is an overlap between the different types of cardiomyopathy and the individual genetic change, and we're not quite sure why that's the case. But somewhere between 20 and 40% of a genetic cause. As time goes on, I'm sure we'll find more genetic causes. At the moment, when we do, uh, when we look for a uh, genetic cause of cardiomyopathies, we look at a certain number of targeted genes, not all 25,000 genes, but that is something that we can do and may well develop in the future. 